Yeah, okay. Good evening and uh, also good morning, everyone. So welcome to the second session of this workshop. Uh, I'm Jiangwei Huang from RISE. Uh, there will be four talks uh, uh, in this session and each speaker will have 45 minutes for the talk, including the five minutes uh, Q&A. Um, so our first speaker will, is uh, Takeshi Kondo from the University of Tokyo. He will speak the design and control of topological phases in quasi one dimensional scattered, staggered materials visualized by APES. So it's yours, uh, Professor Kondo. Okay, thank you so much for uh, introducing. And uh, first of all, thank you so much for uh, inviting me to this uh, very interesting workshop and uh, giving me the opportunity to show my recent works. My name is Takeshi Kondo from the University of Tokyo. So before forgetting, let me uh, introduce my collaborators. Actually, I'm talking about the result of, from the two uh, kind of materials. One is with some us, uh, iodide and bromide, and another is tantalum and serine 3 uh, using that uh, two uh, photon source system, ARPES system. One is laser ARPES uh, constructing in our institute, and also time to time go to synchrotron facilities uh, for example, Diamond and Electra and uh, SSRL, uh, focusing especially for nano APIs using focus beam and also uh, high uh, resolution APIs. And uh, we also have other collaborators, other collaborators for the sample uh, uh, characterization. We collaborating with uh, Dr. Shirasawa for X-ray scattering. And also we measure some uh, uh, surface uh, uh, structures using microwave impedance microscopy in collaboration with the Professor Ray group. And the theory and the discussion uh, are given by Professor Ochi and the Arita group. And uh, maybe I don't need much introduction, but uh, my title is partly a uh, designing of a uh, topological phase. And uh, uh, to design this phase in 3D, uh, basically, we can arrange the stacking pro uh, procedures of the uh, to, to the topological initiator. And uh, we can, of course, uh, uh, generate a normal initiator, strong, weak, and higher order uh, topological initiator. And uh, in strong TI, as you know, uh, uh, all surfaces can generate a spin current, metallic uh, topological uh, metallic current. But uh, in the weak TI and the higher order TI, uh, actually, we can, uh, 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 spin current is more uh, advantageous for application because uh, backscattering is largely prohibited even compared with uh, strong TI where only perfect backscattering is prohibited. So we can generate very high uh, directional uh, topologically protected spin current. As uh, if I, in picture I can draw here, uh, it's very jumped uh, traffic, uh, station and uh, in the this uh, at weak TI and high order TI, we can uh, generate this uh, one uh, quasi 1D uh, spin metallic current. And uh, in understanding maybe uh, first realistic materials was provided in this compound. Okay, uh, that's a compound. And the idea is uh, align this, uh, uh, this cube, cube, cubes in the uh, honeycomb lattice same as uh, structure of uh, graphene. Actually, graphene was first uh, pr proposed as a weak TI, but a very weak uh, uh, SOC or a very tiny uh, uh, gaps. Uh, it's not uh, realistic for uh, some uh, application, but uh, in this system, because of the base mass element with large SOC, you can expect large uh, <clears throat> gap opening and a very stable uh, weak topological state. But the problem is in this material, uh, construct a bit uh, of insulating and metallic uh, layers. But the problem is for uh, experiment, only this uh, top layer is cleavable and uh, can be observed by ARPES, but the side surface is not cleavable. So you cannot measure directly the important topological surface state. So for determining uh, weak TI, uh, we have to find a good material with uh, both cleavable, both top and the side surface. And uh, what is the higher order TI? Uh, <clears throat> actually, uh, th this compound first was uh, uh, 
was uh, 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 assigned as normal initiator, but later uh, by uh, extending uh, the two topological invariant to Z4, uh, even normal initiator in the two criteria uh, sometimes can be uh, assigned as topological initiator, which is called higher order uh, topological state. And in band picture, uh, bonding and antagonizing uh, split band has a uh, both uh, negative in conduction variance band and positive in conduction band. And if all the band is invalid, invalid to due to the strong uh, so C, uh, this uh, uh, double band inversion generate uh, this kind of hinge state uh, where only crystal hinge can uh, generate the spin current. Uh, in simple picture, uh, <clears throat> because of double inversion, uh, 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 topological surface state is doubled, then most of the surface cancel this topological surface state, but only hinge state uh, is survived uh, after this uh, uh, combination. And in the uh, high order TI, uh, <clears throat> actually second and the third order TI is also a purpose where uh, hinge has a spin current or topological state only appear in the corner of the Q, uh, crystal, uh, uh, topological crystal. And in my knowledge, uh, the first uh, proposal of high order topological state is given for the uh, Bismuth selenium. But there are still uh, controversial uh, discussion whether this material, Bismuth, is really a high order TI uh, phase or only uh, still there are uh, claim it might be only a strong potential initiator. But anyway, even if this has the uh, high order topological phase, this is basically a cell metal. So it's very hard to extract only uh, this topological uh, spin current uh, without the contamination from the trivial bulk uh, conductivity. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> so my tar uh, material target is Vismas bromide, which was a uh, proposal as a, as a Peer initiator of a uh, high order topological phase. And uh, <clears throat> this material has a C2 protected uh, topological crystal initiator phase with this Z uh, uh, invariant. And as I said, uh, <clears throat> this uh, crystal structure has uh, this uh, bonding and uh, anti bonding splitting. And by uh, double bond inversion, uh, probably uh, this uh, uh, hinge state survived. And theoretically, uh, this uh, corner uh, sorry, uh, hinge topological current is proposed. And uh, also, a uh, recent uh, a lot of work of symmetry based indicators also propose this compound can be uh, uh, generate this hinge state in the bulk and surface gap. <clears throat> and uh, again, the uh, uh, advantage of this crystal is uh, uh, built from these chains. So you can expect the, a nice cleaving from not only top surface, but also side surface. But of course, there are difficulty, which is if you creep, for example, if you try to creep on the top surface because of its chain, chain uh, structure, uh, uh, top and the side surface both exposed by simply cleaving by tape. So you need a uh, focus, focus beam to selectively observe top and the side surface. But uh, <clears throat> uh, basic idea is uh, if you uh, uh, take out this uh, monolayer sheet of this one white, this paper suggested uh, this can be a 2D TI. So uh, for the sense of designing, uh, so it, it is a good question, but photo face can be selected by stacking this monolayer to 3D crystal. And actually, I uh, present the uh, three material, uh, which has a different stacking. Uh, this one is a stacking with a single layers, and the uh, alpha phase uh, bismuth iodide has a, a, a prime stacking with a double layers, and the bismuth bromide has uh, the AB stacking, uh, where this uh, each layer flip, flipped by 180 degree. So even double layers, these two are different. And uh, we found that uh, different topological phase, for example, this mass uh, uh, beta phase is uh, weak topological TI, uh, sorry, weak TI, and the W uh, this uh, iodide is only uh, normal initiator, and in the bromide with W layer, you can get a higher order TI. And in band picture, this uh, material has only single band inversion, 
generating a uh, topological surface uh, weak TI. And in the case of alpha phase, uh, there are barrier splitting, but uh, because each double uh, split band has a different uh, uh, plus and minus phase, then by embedding all the band, uh, this uh, become a normal initiator. But even, okay, in the uh, bromide, even there are double inversion, uh, this uh, generate uh, the <coughs> uh, high order state with a hinge uh, spin metallic current as, a uh, as shown here. And this uh, weak topological phase in uh, this uh, <coughs> compound uh, was first uh, <coughs> proposed in this uh, paper. And uh, uh, in this paper, uh, uh, it was uh, proposed that the beta phase of bismuth bromide uh, can be uh, <coughs> weak TI. Uh, but uh, in reality, actually, this beta phase of a pure bromide cannot be uh, uh, synthesized because it crystal is not stable. So uh, actually, in reality, we can uh, synthesize these three compounds, beta phase of iodide and alpha phase of iodide. And uh, in the case of bromide, only alpha phase can be easily synthesized. And surgically, uh, it is proposed that this beta phase iodide can be strong TI uh, without pressure uh, strain. And uh, <clears throat> weak TI is, again, uh, generated for beta phase bromide. But uh, again, uh, it's, uh, it's a famous story that in theory, it's not easy to precisely determine the gap size, original, original gap size without SOC. So always to define the uh, topological phase, you need an experiment. So <clears throat> first, let me uh, compare uh, this Vismos uh, iodide, alpha and beta phase, and uh, uh, let me show the, how we explained and decided this is a weak TI and another is a normal initiator. So <clears throat> only in the, uh, uh, the pre previous sessions, uh, people, uh, presenter already introduced this compound and uh, uh, interesting uh, property of this compound is that this crystal phase can be changed from beta to alpha or uh, single layer to double layer. Uh, uh, as clearly shown in resistivity with the hysteresis uh, curve. And uh, uh, APIS, uh, in APIS technique, usually it's uh, uh, better to measure the boundary structure at a low temperature because spectral quality become better or sharper at low temperature. And to obtain the beta phase, which usually appears at a higher temperature, to uh, uh, yield this state at a low temperature, we use a quenching technique. First, we obtain the beta phase at a high temperature, then quickly cool down, then pin this phase even at the low temperature. Then we compare the uh, up spectra between alpha and the beta phase, both at the low temperatures. And the surgically, uh, <clears throat> You can expect a uh, topological phase. In the case of alpha, as I mentioned, because of uh, double layer uh, splitting, uh, in any size of uh, original bundle gap, uh, its turn uh, becomes the normal initiator, uh, even after bundle inversion due to SOC. But in the case of beta phase, it depends on the original gap size of uh, uh, this band. And uh, if uh, original, original gap is uh, small, small then only part, uh, part of the band is embodied. Then uh, state become to a strong uh, uh, TI. But uh, if uh, both of uh, M and L point have a, a band inversion, then only side surface uh, uh, is survived as a topological state. Then the system is assigned as weak TI. So again, uh, to determine this phase, we need experiment. So how can we determine the uh, distinction between weak TI or strong TI, which can be defined if you look at in detail the uh, in-gap state of this side of surface. In the case of weak TI, you can expect this kind of uh, quasi 1D state with uh, uh, Dirac points, both at the gamma and the, uh, Z, Z in the corner of the Boolean zone. And in the case of strong TI, uh, the even size surface can have the only uh, one touching at the gamma, 
then gap open of this gamma. So you can expect uh, this kind of 2D like uh, topological surface state. So uh, let me show uh, how we uh, measured that uh, this uh, surface state. Uh, again, uh, because this material is uh, built from the chains. So even we try to create only top surface, the reality is here uh, by measuring by laser microscopy. You see many uh, step and terrace. Of course, uh, uh, in cartoon, I can show here after grieving, you can get both top and the side surface. But it's not too sure, really, we, uh, this uh, 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 terrace and step uh, is coming from the 001 and the 100 surface. Then we measured. Uh, con confirmed the structure by uh, X-ray scattering. And we obtained uh, two lines uh, with the angles 72 degrees, which is exactly the same as this angle. So from this uh, X-ray scattering, we could confirm that this very uh, step-like features coming from the uh, two different surfaces from the one and the one zero zero. So uh, we use two techniques. One is laser photon source, and another is uh, uh, synchrotron, especially uh, using nano-focus nano beam. So let me uh, show the result of us from the laser office. The advantage of laser office is uh, <clears throat> the, the resolution is very good because low photo energies. I compare here the uh, low photo energy of laser and high photo energy of synchrotron, synchrotron source. Then because of uh, kinetic energy becomes slower in, at low photo energies, even same angle observation of the theta, uh, you cannot go far from the gamma point. That means uh, <clears throat> uh, resolution angle is very precise at the low photo energies. And uh, for determining the direct dispersion clearly, this more, uh, high moment of resolution is very advantageous. And here I compare the result of alpha phase. And uh, in the alpha phase, you see a large gap uh, even at the M point. And the of the M point, uh, gap gets larger and larger. Then you never see the uh, uh, in gap uh, like uh, direct uh, dispersion. But if you turn to beta phase, immediately uh, direct dispersion uh, appears everywhere in gap state. So you can draw the bundle structure as shown here uh, as a form of one cause one D uh, system. And uh, to check really uh, 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 these two coming from the alpha and the beta phase, we compare the, this spectra and found that one shows a uh, splitting due to barrier splitting. And for the another phase, beta phase, we see only one peak because this crystal structure is a single layers. And uh, we also demonstrate how if we can switch uh, this phase from beta with uh, uh, in gap state to alpha phase with no in gap state. And again, we also use the same piece from the alpha phase and uh, uh, change the beta phase, then uh, no in gap state uh, change to the in gap state. So really, uh, this compound can be controlled by temperature from the alpha to beta phase or uh, uh, trivial phase to non-trivial phase. <clears throat> but uh, uh, now we use a laser with the size of 50 micrometers spot size. Then uh, both from top and the surface are both uh, observed at the same time. So it's important to really only size surface give you a uh, topological surface state. Then we set it to a uh, nano focus beam using the zone plate or a uh, special uh, focusing technique uh, in the diamond and the electra. So let me uh, show the result of this nano RPS. Uh, <clears throat> crystal is very thin, only with uh, thickness of 30 micrometer, but anyway, we set up this crystal and part off by tape on the side surface. Then uh, using this uh, focus beam, uh, try to observe only side the surface. This optical image and this is a mapping, real space mapping, photo electro intensity. And we zoomed here, tiny space, real space region, and we focus a good spot, uh, less than one mic micrometer, and conducted the nano surface measurement. And this is the result. And we found that direct like dispersion 
uh, both from the gamma point and uh, Z point uh, corresponding to this cartoon picture. And we can expect, uh, actually, we are observing directly such surface with topological uh, spin current. And we also switched, to, switched to, to the measurement on the top surface, also using the nano uh, focus beam. Then here, we don't see similar one quasi 1D dispersion. So really, we can select a uh, top and the side surface by using a nano office. And also, we uh, measured using different uh, focusing MIP with higher intensity due to the uh, good mirror system. And we uh, directly measured the side surface and the top surface. And here, we could distinguish Theory we observe side and top surface from the periodicity corresponding to each lattice constant. Uh, this uh, different periodicity really uh, guarantee that we observe uh, separate observe top and the side surface. And we, uh, now we know that uh, our signal from the top and the side surface even laser with larger photon uh, spot. <laughs> but uh, using the high moment of resolution, we could clearly show the direct dispersion from the both uh, gamma to Z point. Uh, that means it's definitely not uh, due, uh, coming from, uh, not correspond to this from TI with to uh, the direct dispersion, but rather we observe this one quasi one D like uh, direct dispersion. So we can conclude that uh, this system uh, really a uh, weak topological insulator. <clears throat> so, uh, uh, finally, uh, also we need to check really this uh, one D direct dispersion have the spin polarized state. Then we also use, measure the spin diesel the apex with the laser system. Again, laser has a high moment of resolution, so clearly we can dis, uh, distinguish left and the right side of the momentum. Uh, as you see, uh, at the high photo energies, this dispersion very uh, very uh, close. Too close to each other to separate to observe plus k and minus k. So using this advantage of a high moment of resolution, we uh, separate the observed plus side of k point and minus side of k point, and we could confirm that this spin polarization plus and minus the switch across uh, this uh, uh, zero uh, zero point. So we could also confirm that by spin up is that uh, this one d uh, surface state has. Uh, uh, spin the state correspond to weak TI. So uh, compared with the many variety of material uh, uh, showing the strong TI, we could find uh, a beta, beta phase of resonance iodide is really a weak topological insulator. First case, directly uh, observing this size of the surface. Actually, we also studied one uh, quasi system of uh, zero kilometer five in this publication. So if you are interested in this material, please uh, look at this paper. But anyway, uh, we uh, find a good system which can be switched phase from the alpha beta or normal initiator to weak uh, topological initiator. So uh, this can be a good candidate for any uh, device application. <clears throat> so, uh, so I compared these two, but let me move on to comp or compare these two double uh, uh, system, one is iodide and the other is bromide. So in the bromide crystal, also we uh, use the same method. We piled off the AB plane, but anyway, uh, uh, laser microscope shows the top and the side surface both exposed on the surface. And in cartoon, you can expect, if this really a high order TI, <laughs> you can expect a hinge spin current flowing uh, this, uh, this and this. But uh, because of this structure, a lot of step, because of a lot of state, we can expect that the hinge state can be detected by uh, APIS measurement. So this is a uh, result for the uh, laser APIS, and we uh, rotated the uh, <clears throat> different angle and measured uh, frame surface mapping. Then you see not only a strong island due to the uh, uh, <clears throat> Uh, semiconducting uh, balance on the top. Uh, we also observed one quad 1D like signatures. If I brought a uh, card one to five here, in gap state is not clear, but if you, I change the uh, color scale, uh, clearly in gap state appears. And uh, <clears throat> this MDC shows a direct like uh, point here. And if I compare similar measurement for the alpha phase of iodide, uh, even I change the color scale, I never see uh, in-gap state. So from this comparison, 
we can conclude that even uh, W layer uh, of these two materials, uh, bromide uh, generate uh, in gap state. So uh, this uh, might be, must be high order TA uh, predict, as predicted in theory, and uh, which is very different from the uh, uh, iodide, uh, which is a normal insulator. So again, in the pictures, uh, even both are double inversion, but uh, only uh, this side give you minus minus plus plus in, inversion, then uh, uh, generate in gap state. So we also calculated how we understand this different uh, both double layer. Answer is the inversion symmetry, uh, inversion center is slightly shifted in, from the uh, iodide to bromide. Uh, <clears throat> And uh, I plot it here, the block function and uh, 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 this plus minus phase. Then you can, uh, oh, here I only focus on a point because the situation end point is kind of same between this uh, compound, but at the L point, clear difference is uh, uh, ex expected uh, in the uh, iodide uh, <clears throat> uh, because in virtual center here uh, between layers, then even or, or even is expected for a uh, double layer splitting conduction balance and conduction, but but the wrong case uh, in the center come in in this layer, then uh, this uh, phase changes to even even or the odd, then band inversion occur. So this picture can be also understood easily. Even this anti bonding bonding balance and conduction uh, has the same between these two uh, system because only slightly shift uh, this inversion center uh, uh, even or odd is changed. As you see, if you, you rotate uh, 180 degree uh, uh, respo uh, with respect to inversion center, this is even or, or the even. But if you see the slightly, this become, uh, this of course same, but this become from odd to even. If you rotate 180 degree, you see it this become, this is odd, but this is become even. And uh, this is also a uh, change from even to odd. If you rotate uh, due to this uh, inversion center, this is uh, even, but this slight shift make it uh, odd in the system. So this uh, slight shift of um, inversion center give you different uh, even even odd, odd relation. Then only this bromide give you a band, a double band inversion leaving a uh, hinge, hinge spin state. <clears throat> And I compare here more uh, in the, uh, of course, it's very hard uh, observe only uh, hinge state. So anyway, we use a slightly larger uh, <clears throat> photon spot, then observe in the state. Then even increase the uh, color contrast, uh, alpha phase does not show any uh, in the state, but again, beta phase give you strong DRK dispersion. And the Brom case, the signature is much com uh, smaller uh, than iodide, but uh, still you see uh, this direct like dispersion. In this actually, more than 30 uh, times smaller, but um, this situation must be due to this uh, uh, volume of spin current is much higher in weak TI uh, compared with high order TI. Of course, you wonder really we compare uh, the surface situation the same. So we compare uh, uh, surface situation after cleaving uh, iodide and bromide, and uh, the com comparison between the signature for X-ray scattering between the one and the one zero zero is kind of comparable. Or well, even in bromide, we could get higher uh, intensity from the size surface, but still the in gap state intensity, opposite intensity, they become much weaker compared with iodide. So uh, this spin current we observe in gap state is has a less uh, volume volume compared with uh, this uh, uh, this system with four plane flow this spin current. And we also compare by resistivity. Uh, this is a uh, resistivity from three compounds and found that at high temperature, uh, bromide has a high, uh, bo a high uh, resistivity corresponding to the higher uh, binding uh, uh, band gap, uh, three times higher in this system. And if you go to low temperature, actually iodide case become more uh, metallic due to the uh, high, higher volume of this spin current compared to this only hinge state. 
So uh, this uh, resistivity behavior also support this uh, edge state and this uh, uh, gap size uh, determined from the APIS. By APIS, we uh, determine the gap size for erudite only uh, 0.1 electron volt, but the bromide, we observed by uh, uh, potassium depression, we drug below the EF, the conduction band, and we precisely determine gap size is 0.3 electron volt. And we also uh, um, collaborated with the Professor Lee group. Uh, actually, he uh, kindly accepted my student visiting for three months. Then we collaborated using this technique, uh, microwave impedance microscopy. Uh, in this system, you can uh, determine the uh, uh, this kind of metallic uh, edge state. A good example is if this kind of pyro cooler system. Uh, this boundary gives you uh, the metallic state, even system is uh, insulated. And in topological state, uh, <clears throat> angustin terrorized too, also give monolayer case, you can get metallic H state in this uh, technique. So we uh, measured using the uh, exploitation technique, we prepared this uh, flake with a thickness only 15 nanometer. And uh, this picture shows IFM, and this is a corresponding uh, MRM image, and we could get a peak, a high conducting state uh, only in the edge from the several samples. So uh, hinge state also consistent with this measurement. <clears throat> of course, um, STM measurement is more precise for this uh, edge state measure measurement, and uh, nice result was provided in the previous talk. And, uh, Actually, if I compare uh, the gap band gap size, uh, the estimated by STM also consistent of our measurement, giving you 0 0.3 electron volt. And uh, they also nicely uh, selected the different edge from the, this side and this side from this shape. Then they found on the uh, this side can give you a, a metallic state corresponding to the high order uh, topological insulator. And uh, again, uh, uh, this uh, uh, metallic state also consistent in our uh, this, uh, in gap state, metallic in gap state, which is kind of uh, weak signature compared with the uh, weak TI. So uh, this is a brief summary for the material designing for this uh, uh, excellent system uh, with <coughs> selecting by uh, topological phase by different stacking uh, procedures. So let me move on using a uh, left time. So in my title, I said on not only design, but control of the political phase. And, and I already introduced a uh, switching between a uh, normal initiator to weak topological TI uh, using this crystal structure transition. Uh, I introduced here a uh, uh, different switching from the uh, normal state on to uh, topological initiator by using a uh, strain. And the target material is Tantan Slain 3. Uh, actually, it's uh, this uh, series of materials is famous for CW, but uh, uh, Tantan Slain 3 is uh, kind of special among these uh, series of materials uh, in that uh, superconductivity appears around 2 Kelvin, and there is no CW transition. And uh, in Interestingly, uh, theory uh, predicts that there is, this is a strong uh, TEI with the in gap state very close to the level. So it can be the candidate, good candidate uh, of uh, topological superconductivity, which is much studied in this uh, iron uh, telluride selenite superconductors. And uh, this paper also suggests uh, this topological phase can be uh, controlled by string. So we tried to control uh, this topological uh, First, we try to confirm experimentally uh, this material can be really a uh, strong TI. And we also try to control uh, this phase by a string. So uh, controlling, controlling topological phase is mainly uh, done by this uh, uh, electron substitution. But uh, uh, <clears throat> it's difficult. Uh, this substitution also change lattice and uh, only that is uh, may can explain this phase transition. So one is much easier uh, directly if we, we can apply strain to change the topological phase. And also uh, we can uh, use this topological transition by strain uh, 
uh, in this uh, element of substitution, it's difficult to control the uh, phase transition, but by strain, much easier we can choose uh, uh, topological phase. Uh, before, uh, people try to uh, control the topological phase, for example, for bismuth selenite film using Kafton tape by expanding, but uh, only they observe the shifting of the point of uh, in gap state. So it's uh, kind of uh, hard to really change topological phase by string. So uh, let me show uh, uh, the result of the bound structure of tantal series three using fast uh, synchrotron RPS. I plot here the film surface mapping and the corresponding dispersion energy dispersion. And we compared with calculation with our experimental result. And we could get a good matching between calculation and the experiment. And to observe the topological surface state, now I zoom uh, very close to film level. And I plot here. And further, I zoomed in uh, very close to EF. And we could get the surface state uh, corresponding to the uh, expectation by calculation. But uh, of course, uh, to uh, define this surface state really topo topologically non-trivial, uh, you need to define that this upper branch is going to the convection band and another branch is going to balance band. And in the low spectrum, it's kind of difficult. So I did the <clears throat> second derivative. Then you can clearly see that the upper branch really going to uh, go to uh, a conduction band. So this really is what you call a non trivial surface state. And uh, we also uh, checked this uh, surface state is uh, uh, spin polarized. Then we use the spin office. Then we could observe uh, this kind of a switching from the plus side, minus side, uh, up and down spin. And also uh, cal our calculation predicted that this up and down uh, spin cross uh, along this momentum cut. And indeed, we could observe this switching plus and minus uh, along this momentum cut. So we could really could reproduce the uh, physical surface state by experiment. And uh, finally, we try to control the topological phase by using the string. Uh, theoretically, this paper suggests to apply string along this perpendicular to chain, but uh, we thought that more effective if we, we could apply this string along the chain. So we used this bending method to apply pressure, and we wanted to uh, apply string in, in situ. So we made the graph uh, between uh, screw angle of this device and the real effect of strain, uh, which was measured directly by a uh, strain gauge. Then uh, using this table, we can tune how, uh, the, 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 any uh, body, body of strain in situ. Then this is a result uh, with a strain or uh, only tiny strain, uh, surface state is survived, uh, of course, observed as I introduced before, uh, in the previous slide. Then if you uh, apply uh, strain, uh, this uh, surface state become weaker and weaker. Then finally, we could see a gap opening. And we compare the uh, gap size for the same strain value, 2.5% or experimentally 2.4%. And uh, uh, interesting, we could get exactly the similar uh, band gap. And this is a, a calculation corresponding to the uh, string around chain with 0%. Uh, this is from TI and only one crossing uh, bounding inversion occur. Then if you apply 1%, then uh, this crossing is smaller and smaller, then finally gap opening uh, becoming a normal initiator. And uh, if you, you could uh, pressurize not uh, strain, then another bounding inversion occur at B point, then this uh, system become weak topological initiator. But experimentally, it's not easy to press uh, along this chain because uh, this 1D structure become easy bented. So anyway, we could uh, only uh, apply the strain. But anyway, we could control from the strong TI to normal initiator. But experimentally, uh, so theoretically, of course, you can tune up to weak topological initiator. So we also confirmed uh, <clears throat> this uh, topological uh, state can be uh, tunable in situ. So we first apply pressure, then release the screw, then release this pressure, then gap is closed, then again, gap opened if you apply pressure again by screw in this bending device. So uh, 
I think this is a good first demonstration uh, control the topological state by this uh, string. And we could get uh, strong, uh, from that strong TI to normal initiator by applying the pressure. So this system and also this system is a good candidate for studying topological superconductivity. Oh, this is a summary of all my talk. We, uh, my title was design the control of topological phases. And uh, for designing, we could control the uh, topological phase by different stacking procedure. And uh, also we could control by uh, changing temperature from the alpha to beta phase uh, between a weak topological insulator to normal insulator. And also using different system, we could control this topology by applying a string. Okay, that's all. Uh, thank you for your attention. <laughs> Very nice talk, uh, Professor Kondo. So if the audience have uh, any questions, you can raise your hand. Uh, but I will take the uh, advantage to ask uh, the first questions. So, um, Professor Kondo, you showed that you cleave the both uh, bismuth iodine and bismuth bromide. They all show uh, a lot of steps on the top surface, right? Yes. So why? So is there is there any any reason you like assign the 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 bands you you measure with laser R pass on the bismuth iodine to surface state, but assign that weak direct signature of the bismuth bromine to hinge state? Yeah, that's a good question. And uh, uh, by R pass, it's uh, almost impossible only select hinge state, right? Because beam size is now we can get less than one micro, but it's not enough because uh, hinge state is confined like a nanometer size. So anyway, we uh, accumulate all the harvest signature from the top surface with a step on the uh, top surface. So only uh, distinguishing between the weak TI and the strong TI from the intensity of the in-gap state. So <clears throat> yeah, here, um, uh, actually surface condition also uh, uh, is almost the same between the iodide and bromide from the disk scattering. Uh, you see the size of surface signature is the same, almost the same from this two system. But uh, by APIS, even you accumulate all the up, uh, hot emission uh, signatures, in gap state become much weaker in uh, bromide compared, the, compared with the iodide. So uh, this uh, scenario uh, must be uh, consistent with our observation. Yeah, that is not a direct, but uh, this is uh, my logic of a discussion. Okay. Uh, so I also have another question. Is uh, you showed that you 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 did nano apes on the side surface of the beta bismuth ionide, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Uh, have you done the nano apes on the alpha bismuth ionide? Because you from your data, uh, especially in later apes data, you. I think you show the, the side surface, the, the band structure shows uh, quite dispersive along the C direction. But in our case, you, we also measure the, the beta bismuth cyanide and the alpha bismuth cyanide. The, 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 the electronic structure on the side surface, the, dis, the, the distinction is really uh, small. It's just a tiny gap from our data. So I, yeah, I, I try to understand why your electronic structure on the side surface for these two different phases are quite different. Okay, um, I think this is gradual gap from the top uh, top surface. So yeah, if you, we look at the side surface, maybe a boundary gap is much smaller. And uh, yeah, maybe the difference between iodide and the alpha, alpha and the beta may be smaller, like uh, your result, I mean, means group result. But uh, <clears throat> somehow, if I look at the top uh, uh, both from the top and the side from the AB plane cleaving, uh, there's no uh, such signature uh, from the size surface. So um, from our data, uh, really there's no in-gap state. Uh, if you look at uh, on this cleaved surface, so maybe it's, there's some difference, I don't know, um, material cement, if I look from this uh, top plane, maybe, uh, the signature from size surface or the normal size surface uh, become almost nothing negligible. Mm. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Um, 
uh, uh, hello dr pandu hello hi uh, thank you so much for this wonderful talk uh, i actually have some several questions so one of them was uh, when you have this spot size and it is uh, overlapping both the side surface hinge and top so okay. you are getting contribution from all of it so depending on it, it, like when we are measuring the any surface state is it necessary to have the spot size smaller than the width of the state like in this uh, figure that you have in this slide the yellow circle is covering like a lot of things so that's what my question is like is it necessary to have the spot size smaller than the width of the step so that you only get contribution from one surface yeah, yeah this is the surface condition so if you want really select only side surface without the top surface you need a focus beam because i think this uh, step height is only uh, several micro okay so and uh, in the recently uh, normal uh, normal uh, synchrotron office or laser office can focus down to like 50 micrometer. With that spot size, it's not enough to strictly resolve. So recently, you just a uh, special uh, zone plate or a focus mirror to get a okay. such tiny spot. Yeah. Oh, okay. And one other question was regarding the quenching step of the alpha and the beta phase. So mm -hmm. this is a first order structure transition. So I'm not sure how we're able to preserve the high temperature state at low temperature in order to measure the resistivity data. That part I'm not, uh, I didn't quite catch uh, clearly. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, to get to the uh, beta phase at low temperature, we use a quench method, but the resistivity, we slowly decrease and decrease temperature. Then always we see this uh, hysteresis. Uh, so um, it, it's, a, it's an answer to you, or do you have other confusion? So no, the, you have the resistivity data for the alpha, for the beta phase at low temperature. Mm. That, that part, how, how were you able to measure that, that, that I'm not able, because as soon as it crosses the uh, critical temperature, it changes the structure, right? Yeah, this part, the red curve in the left figure. How were you able to get th that data? That is not what I'm unable to understand. Uh, okay, for uh, this is a uh, uh, explanation for condition for office measurement, but in resistivity, we slowly increase and decrease temperature. So that case, we can change from alpha and beta phase, like this hysteresis curve. But mm -hmm. for office measurement, we quenched to measure both at the lowest temperature because mm -hmm. lowest temperature is advantageous for get a sharp peak on the structure, so we can compare fairly between the okay. two. Okay. 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 So and uh, and uh, so whatever signature we get after quenching, and uh, that is uh, definitely coming from beta phase, not alpha phase. This is uh, is is there any way to like uh, confirm that? Yeah, yeah. Maybe this is a uh, uh, evidence. I mean. <clears throat> In the alpha phase double layer, so you expect the barrier splitting, which really okay. was the way of measurement. Yeah, uh, okay. alpha is the only one. Mm. Okay. And, yeah, so, uh, oh, you still have questions, Nico? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in uh, in the strain uh, in the strain induced uh, bismuth selenide uh, slide, I had a question hmm. where you hmm. only see a very small shift in the. Uh, Bismuth two selenide three, that one. You you had a lot of information coming from all directions, so I had to write. It out. <laughs> okay, do you have any question about this panel? It's complicated. No, no not this one. Uh, the it the RPS data. Ah, okay. RPS Bismuth. Uh, uh, Bismuth two selenide three. <laughs> Bismuth two selenide three. Ah, this. Hmm? Yeah, this one. So yeah. here uh, you were able to this pinpoint these blue dots on the right side figure. Mm. And uh, if you look, if you don't have these markings, it's it's uh, impossible to see what uh, literally any difference between the strain and the unstrained. So uh, this this resolution marking the shift in the blue dot, how uh, is uh, is it 
is it based on the energy diagrams like energy uh, values at that particular point i am not able to understand that because uh, if you if you remove those uh, markings of the lines they look uh, identical <laughs> that's yeah. Yeah, first of all, it's not our result, uh, just a reference I wrote it here. So I don't know detail how they, but uh, yeah, it's I read it carefully, but uh, it's kind of con convincing. I mean, um, at least they, uh, they are sure that the strains are applied from the X-ray scattering, and the peak shift due to this strain, uh, one or 2%. And, uh, yeah, please look at the display. And, uh, okay, 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 okay. okay. Uh, anyway, th thank you so much for answering my questions. Okay. Okay, maybe the uh, last I have one question. question. Yeah, from Fan, yeah. Uh, yeah, so Takeshi, so I think as a theorist, I think your, your data are, is really beautiful. Um, but however, as a theorist, I, I my interpretation might be different than what you have. Uh, in particular for the alpha phase. Mm -hmm. So uh, let, let's, let's, let's look at the uh, APAS data for the alpha business iodide. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, so, this guy. Mm -hmm. okay. So uh, let's think about the beta phase, right? The beta, beta, phase, beta phase is weak TI and the side surface has a, a gaply surface state, right? Mm -hmm. uh, now, if, if under the structure transition, okay, under structure transition, the surface state, the side surface state of beta phase will also change. And actually the change is there is a gap opening in the surface state. But however, according to my calculation and many people's calculation as well, the size surface state gap in the alpha phase is actually pretty tiny. It's only around the 10 to 20 mini electron volt. So given the resolution of your uh, RPS uh, experiment, I think you should be able to observe the size surface state of alpha bismuth iodide. Mm -hmm. so that my question is, uh, so where, mm -hmm. where where are they? Yeah, I understand. Maybe um, this might be, all, uh, we did uh, some wire calculation and uh, right. maybe you said that uh, this daily torsion surface has the between energy. Yeah, energy yeah, yeah. So, yeah. okay. So let, let me put in this way. In, in, on the left, that is the calculation for the alpha bismuth iodide, right? And yes. those black bands, are, are, all of them, are actually a uh, surface state. Mm. So yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, understand your question, and uh, yeah, I surprised after looking the means paper nicely shows a normal surface state from the side the surface. <coughs> but, uh, yeah. Maybe a situation is somehow different because uh, means group directly measures the size surface, then yeah, observe the uh, trivial su uh, surface state. But, uh, but we yeah, so but that that okay. So um, but if even if we uh, can, can you go back to the figure you just show? Mm -hmm. This guy. Yeah, this one. Then if you look at the bismuth bromide, I mean that that's the um, I mean there there's no structure transition. And if you look at the, 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 the calculation your colleague has done, uh, which is this panel on the right with direct point. So basically, you know, uh, around the direct point, those bands are hinge states. But however, all other ones, all other ones within this fake, within this uh, uh, di uh, this uh, panel are actually surface states. So again, I, I, I have the question, you know, in your APAS data, if you interpret uh, what you have observed is the uh, a hinge state, then where are the surface states? Mm. Yeah, I understand your question. Uh, yeah, or the, the other thing is the, the, the resolution. So if you consider the resolution of your RPS, mm. so maybe you, you need to rethink whether you really observe, you know, the hinge states or the side surface state in the business mm. from my case. Mm. And uh, actually, I look at the data of uh, Hassan's group, nice data, and uh, somehow from the this age, they also know uh, surface related intensity, also same as the top layer. So I don't know. Um, I yeah, I understand. Maybe target surfaces must be everywhere. That the case, this rate also intense, but. Uh, this is a result shown almost no intensity due to this uh, trivial surface state. So I thought it's right, uh, consistent our result. Okay. Mm. 
Yeah, but there's one thing is uh, in, in this uh, STM experiment, the uh, the thickness, uh, I mean, the, the thickness in, uh, in the spatial thickness of the hinge state or edge state is just like a two or three nanometer, right? Mm. But, yes. but, but in, in your experiment, the, the uh, spatial resolution is, is much, much larger than that number, I guess. Mm. Yeah, that's um, uh, maybe, I don't know, if you directly measure, maybe you see the trivial surface state, but at least in your measurement, uh, measure AB frame with a step on the uh, terrace, then there's no intensity in gap state. Uh, at least uh, from our measurement, uh, there's no signature here. So maybe due to how we look from the direct side surface, or anyway, we try to get the signature from this uh, surface, exposing both. 10001. So mm, somewhat different situation from the means group measurement. Okay. So I mean, somehow I have the thought that maybe the the quench is mm. is not a really uh you, you you didn't actually got the beta phase at a, a very low temperature in that in a, a quench experiment. But I'm I'm not an experimentalist. I, I I don't know the detail, but I just I just guess. Mm. Yeah, well, at least alpha phase is properly prepared without using te quenching techniques. So if we, uh, what you are saying is correct or uh, affected in experiment, maybe we should observe the art of intestine gap, right? Right, right, right. Yeah. I, I think you know, no, no matter how you do the calculation, they they are there. Mm. Mm. Yeah. In, in fact, I want to I want to follow up with friend point. I think I sent one emails to one of your colleagues asking about uh, the transport because you guys in your nature paper you guys show a very nice uh, curve about uh, transport quenching, right? Actually, we actually tried some tried a similar approach as what they did. We actually did not observe what uh, you guys saw on here. So I actually send some email, emails to one of your colleagues and also follow up with whatever details I have tried, but I somehow I did not get a response from your, your colleague. Oh, okay, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, okay, but at least we uh, checked really beta phase in X-ray scatter measurement. And so I, yeah, at least we believe we could get the beta phase in this quenching method. Yeah, we have very five far behind the schedule, maybe you should move on. So thank you, Professor Kondo. It's very nice yeah, talk, very nice oh. discussion, yeah. yeah so there's a, I saw okay. a question in the chat, maybe you can directly answer that in the chat. Um, 